Welcome to making clay sculptures. Here's how you set up your center and then make it. Right and up and down. You'll want to flip it and roll it again. You would like it to be just a little bit thick though. You don't want it really thin, just a tiny bit thick. From the outside, with a carving tool, you're going to take away the shape of whatever it is that you are making. Pull it off. This extra clay you can use to build up as well as create something else. Make sure you are not stuck to your mat. Texture sheets can be used to create texture in the background. Just roll it across. Pick it up. Now I have this really nice background for my slab. I'm going to make a funny face on my slab. I'm going to roll some circles and carve away a nice shape for eyes. It's a unique eye shape. And do it again. Flat it out. Right? So I have these two unique eye shapes. I want to attach them on. To attach things to your clay, you'll dip your fingers in some water, wet the surface. That's getting attached. Just a little bit. You really want to use a little bit of water with your clay. You'll carve little crisscross lines where it's getting attached. That's called scoring. It looks like a little scoreboard. Crisscross, crisscross lines. Little checkerboard of lines. Use some water. And you'll want to suction cup it on. You can always use another tool to change and carve away just a little bit of clay at a time. You can use a tool to draw onto your clay design. You can draw objects into your clay and remove going in, digging deep into it. Instead of building up, you can go down. Those are just some things that you can do with your clay to make something new. So make sure when you're attaching, it's going to fit. So you're at where it's going to go. Wet the surface. Make a little scoreboard on both pieces, add water, and push it on. You can smooth with your fingers and make sure it's really stuck on. But do not add lots of water. Only add water where you really need it. There you go. Coming up next, using plaster to create 3D sculptures. Set up your center, plan your ideas, and watch this video. Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use plaster. Plaster is basically dried up stone wrapped inside gauze and when wet and let to air dry, it becomes solid and hard much like clay. So you're going to want a cup full of water, some strips of plaster, and what exactly it is that you are creating from the plaster. I am going to be uniforming all of the stuff on here to create one solid relief type sculpture. Now you can also fold up newspaper into a ball to create a sculpture with the plaster wrapped around it. 
The plaster will dip inside real quick the water, let it drip, 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 then you lay it across your form. You do that, and then you press down and you wipe and fill it in so it wraps around the space that you are making. It should come across real tight against everything it is that you want to be uniform and solid. You're creating form with the plaster wrap. Why did the dog pass the room? Because what did say? If you were creating something that is rounded, you would wrap it around that shape and smooth it out so there's no gaps in the plaster. Mine is flat, so I have to press down in between the form the things that are meant to pop up. So you can see it again, and you wipe, wipe, so all the little spots inside the gauze are filled up. You no longer see the little spots. This is going to create a hardened, flat relief space. You may even want to wrap it around the back. Now you don't have to uh, keep it in the water very long, just quick in and out. Turn it on. Thank you. Is it off?